Hey everyone, this is Ben, and thank you for joining us on this episode of the Semper Gumby channel. Today's video, we are gonna be talking about how to wash dishes, how to get clean, how to take a shower out at camp. And some of you have seen my previous videos where I used a tankless water heater coupled with a power station into a tank of water to take a shower or wash dishes. Well, I thought that was the best thing to slice bread until this product came out. And before we start the video, we want to thank Bouge RV for sending us this tankless water heater for testing and review. Um, I'm looking forward to this because, I mean, I've told myself time after time, there should be a company that will create something that's all contained in one unit that has a built-in battery. And you know what? Bouge RV has stepped the game up. This right here is definitely a game changer. This is the Bouge RV tankless water heater. And this thing just hit the market. And what's so really cool about it is everything is so compact in one unit. So let's go check it out. And uh, you guys, probably going to be really, really impressed. This camper propane water heater can provide you with easy access to hot water for cleaning, washing dishes, and showering. It has a maximum thermal efficiency of 20,500 BTUs and is capable of rapid temperature rise of 45 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius. And the water flow out of this little unit is 2.2 to 3 liters per minute that is amazing now a lot of other units or tankless water heaters you have to have a portable or external source to power up the unit what's really cool about this bouge rv unit it comes with a built-in 25 amp hour rechargeable battery it's a 18650 lithium iron phosphate battery and the battery will last this hot water heater for 65 minutes on a full charge and can be charged from 0 to 80% in 60 minutes and you know provides you with almost an hour worth of power to take a shower and you don't have to go ahead and bring a power station run the cords this thing it's amazing. Now this unit comes with a bunch of safety added features. It has a multi protection for your added safety. When the water temperature reaches 122 degrees, it will automatically shut off the water and switch off the flame. When the tilt angle is also too large, it will automatically switch off the flame. And if the water does not enter the heater, within 120 seconds it will automatically shut off to prevent damage to the pump all right gang what you see in front of me is what you will get when you purchase your bouge rv tankless water heater uh, you are going to get a propane regulator you are going to get a uh, 110 charging cord you're going to get a 12 volt cigarette lighter or a dc you are going to get the shower head bracket or holder you're going to get the shower head itself and then you're going to get your water outlet and it's going to be the red one and that hooks up to the shower head and of course you are going to get a gasket so don't forget to use this rubber o-ring gasket or you will leak water out from it and then you get your your water pump and this will submerse into your uh, water source so let's go ahead and hook it up and see how everything goes together okay on the front of the unit you will see a red which is water out and then you will see blue water in so let's hook up the water out and these are quick disconnects so all you have to do is just push them right on okay so the water out would be going to the shower head and like I mentioned before it does come with a rubber o-ring that you want to use now we will take our our water inlet 
This is gonna come from your water source. Go ahead and plug that in. And then you're gonna take your electric pump that's connected to the line and where it says pump, you go ahead and put that in there. Okay, let's move that to the side. So now we're gonna attach the shower head bracket. And basically, when you get it, it looks just like this. So all you do is unscrew the end, pull the sleeve off, place the sleeve over the handle. You're gonna go ahead and reinsert your bracket and then go ahead and tighten your um, handle. For today's testing, uh, I'm not going to use this bracket because if you look inside there, there's a uh, hex head bolt and that needs to be tightened up uh, so your shower head doesn't flip or flop around and basically it won't do this. Uh, since I don't have a uh, Allen wrench, hex head wrench with me uh, for today, we're not going to go, we're not going to use this uh, shower head uh, bracket. So the back of the unit, we'll go ahead and screw in our one pound propane bottle. Um, hmm, I see a design flaw right off the bat and I hope they can address that situation. But if you look on the bottom, there's a space right here. So basically when you're moving the unit, the bottle is flip, flipping or flopping around. So I might take a tie wrap or I might make a bracket to hold it up so I don't break or damage the fitting. So just be aware, uh, Bouge RV if you're watching, uh, maybe there's something, a strap or a bracket we could, you could make or um, you know, something to hold the regulator to the handle. Like I said, I'm probably going to use a, a tie wrap. So now let's go ahead and get the water source. And today we're just going to use a, a five gallon bucket because this is kind of embarrassing to tell you, but last time I came here, I, uh, <laughs> I filled up my five gallon water jug that I bought brand new and I filled it up so I could put out the campfire before I left, you know, the responsible thing that you're supposed to do. Well, I left the five gallon bucket at the campsite. So today uh, when I went to Harbor Freight, I've got me a free bucket, so. Next thing you want to do, you want to submerge your water pump into the bucket. Okay. And then now you turn on the unit. Okay. And then you go ahead and turn on your pump. And you can hear the propane starting. Oh, let's make sure it's off. And you can see the pump okay so on the dial here you got minimum and maximum so let's just go ahead and set it to medium uh, the, in the middle and you can see that the flame is lit with that flame icon on there I don't know if you guys can see that uh, flame icon in the shower head I have a full battery and let's go ahead and see what kind of temperature we've got. The water is 57 and we've got 61 coming out of the head. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on and you will hear the propane uh, start and the heater. So let's see if you can hear that. And it started. So on the shower head, um, with that gasket, I have no water leaking, and that's amazing. 
I have my on off switch. You have the push to start and push to stop. You do have three types of flows. Uh, water flow out here, depending on which one you got it on. <laughs> but let's go ahead and wash some hands. <laughs> let's change it. Yeah, stream, shower, and medium. Wow, that is warm. That is at 88 degrees. Let's go with max and see what, let's do 100. Like I said, you can adjust the temperature by this knob. Uh, you can go to max, which would be probably about 115, 120, and you can go minimum. Uh, the left-hand side showing the water is 59 degrees, and the water coming out after going through the heater is 100 degrees. And that's pretty much it. And then to shut it down, you just shut the pump down and you should be good to go and like i mentioned this thing has a built-in lithium iron phosphate battery so as you can see there are no wires as far as a power source uh, hooked up to this so it makes uh pretty much makes it a lot easier to transport and wash dishes or take a shower so I'm pretty impressed with this Bouge RV tankless water heater. Okay, like I mentioned before, I'm gonna use all this to store all my uh, hoses and connections in. So, go ahead and unscrew the thing. Go to the bottom. So, go ahead and remove the reg regulator. here you got my 12 volt uh, DC power cord and Hoku is sneezing over there <laughs> for some reason <laughs> gonna go ahead and disconnect my water pump and be sure you drain everything uh, before putting it away so we're gonna blow that out here in a little bit sure you drain out your shower head man that's a lot of water in there okay. we'll let that sit for a little bit drain out yeah you can blow it Okay, blow out your hose. Make sure you ain't got no water in here. Try to wind that up. Place that in your bag. Put your shower head in the bag. We're going to leave the shower uh, or the water pump out for just a little bit, let that dry out. And then, of course, you go ahead and seal up all your connections with your rubber. Uh, with your rubber covers. And also, if you're going to store this, be sure you turn off that switch to off so it doesn't run your battery down. And then we'll just dump out our water. And that's it for the operation. I think it's pretty cool. What I think about this is a, it's a, I highly recommend it. And if you're looking for an alternative way to, to wash dishes, take a shower, clean the kids, clean the dog or whatever um, at camp, hey, this thing's, this thing's a ticket. You can also submerge that water pump in a lake and get continuous water. So 
um, everything's uh, you'll be able to get a whole bunch of water and uh, take a shower and clean up and off a off a river or a lake so that's something to keep in mind the only con I have was that propane bottle in the back it was kind of flimsy or moved I just don't want to snap off the uh, regulator so um, other than that everything else was fine so if they can figure a way to keep that propane bottle secured um, that'd be the ticket so anyway I want to thank Bouge RV for sending us this tankless water heater it just hit the market so check them out on the website at bougerv.com and I'll post the link right there and get yourself one these things retail for about $299 so there's a couple ways you can power this on. You can use the internal lithium iron phosphate battery. You could use a 12 volt source. You could use a 110 or you can use solar power panels. So um, that's how you can charge this battery. But Bouge RV, you hit a home run with this one. And uh, I look forward to using it during our camping adventures. So until the next video, um, I'll catch you a little bit later it is starting to rain so we are going to go ahead and head in the van other than that this is semper gumby out <laughs>